Hey, Nick here. Uh, today I want to talk about these pieces that I had anodized. Um, I had them re-anodized. These are pieces, aluminum pieces, that are normally anodized from in the car. Uh, this is all the backs of the front seats, and then over there is the uh, rear dash and uh, and then interior quarter trim panel moldings. This is a 66. Now, uh, 64, 5, and 6 all have these pieces. Uh, these are different on 4 and 5, but uh, they all have these pieces, the sides of the seats. Um, I have mixed feelings about this. Uh, I don't like the way it came out because it's not perfect, but um, the customer will be happy with it. They're, they're nice pieces. They turned out good. Uh, and it's not worth taking them back. I just, I wanted them to be better. What I, I think what's wrong with them is that some pieces are very shiny. Look at this. You know, some pieces are very shiny and consistent throughout. And then these... I think they're dull and I don't, they're splotchy a little bit. Now nobody will ever notice that until I point it out. And then these, this thing, this is a terrible job. And th th I think that's the polisher. You can see buffing marks in it. Some, one of these pieces has scratch marks in it. And I guess it's just this one. The buffing marks. I don't know. Anyway, uh, uh, the way that I had this done, I've never anodized anything before. I've never had a customer, believe it or not, in 40 years, I've never had a customer ask me to do this before. And uh, so I never really had to. Um, and uh, the way it was done is I took them, I took them the way that they were out of the car I took them to the anodizer and he de-anodized them. In other words, they stripped them of the anodizing. And when I got them back, they didn't look any different than, that, than ha the, how they looked when I dropped them off. They looked no different. So I thought, I thought, well, they didn't do, they really didn't do a very good job. They, you know, I thought they didn't do a very good job if they did it at all. Because I was expecting them to come back looking like they had been stripped. So I went ahead and glass beaded them lightly. Well, the polisher was really pissed at me for doing that. So anyway, after I, after I had them de-anodized, after I had the anodizing stripped off, I took them, you have to take them to the polisher. You have to have them then polished. So I took them to the polisher. He was mad that I had glass beaded them. And, uh, but he said he could still do it, so he did. Now, I, I lightly glass beaded them. I didn't heavily glass bead them, but... So he polished them, charged me over to like $350 to polish all these pieces. And then I took them back to the anodizer to have them re-anodized. So the polisher polished everything. Look at, how, look at how shiny that is. Look at how nice and shiny that is, as opposed to... You can't, you can barely see a reflection in that. Where this one, you can clearly see a reflection in it. You know, it, it, it's, that's the inconsistent, inconsistency I don't like. This thing is the same thing. You can see a reflection, but you can still see the imperfections. That's a terrible job. So I'm going to take this one and put it on the inside of the passenger seat. That one will go on the inside. Nobody will ever see it anyway. <clears throat> um, and then these are the backs. Uh, and I think these turned out fine because there's, there's just not a lot you can do with them. You know, no, it doesn't have that brushed aluminum look in there, but to me, it's the lesser of evils. They're not all scratched up and dented. Uh, you know, now it's consistent. It'll, they'll look nice. These pieces, these pieces came out very nice. Oh yeah, here, look. Let me see. Yeah, see, they're... You can see scratches in it from the polisher, but 
Nobody will ever notice that. You know, I'm looking at it right, at, right up to my face. So, anyway, if you want to have something reanodized the way that I had to do it, and I don't know if this is the only way, is I took it to the anodizer, they de-anodized it, took off the anodizing, then I took it to the polisher, had them polished, then took it back to the anodizer, and he re-anodized them. Now, the anodizer for all of this stuff was 95 bucks. That was, I think that was dirt cheap. Um, and then the polisher charged me $350 to polish everything. Uh, so it was 27 pieces. Uh, you know, they look better than they did before, I'll tell you that. And I think it was, overall, I think it was worth the money. Uh, about 450 bucks, roughly. And uh, I think it was worth the money. I was expecting to pay about 500 bucks for it. So I just wanted to show you guys that. I wanted to show you uh, and tell you how, how the process went. So in case you want to uh, do that, you know what you're in, sto in store for. Now, another piece of advice is, is when you have these polished, inspect every piece. I didn't do that. You know, it was 27 pieces. They're all in a box, all wrapped up nice. The polisher wrapped everything up. You know, and you sit there and uh, unwrap everything. And, and that's not really when you would inspect them anyway. Take them home, unwrap everything before you take it to the anodizer, and take a look at it. If you're not happy, take it back to the polisher. Uh, and I didn't do that. I took it right to the polisher. I didn't even unwrap them. I let them unwrap them. And then... Uh, uh, <clears throat> When I took it to the anodizer, I let them unwrap them. So, uh, and then uh, I just got them back today from the anodizer. You know, I think they could have done a better job, but they look okay. Anyway, an update on the TNL car. I got the top skin put on it. And um, they did a nice job. He, uh, Dale, he did a nice job. He did a nice job. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to point out is, you know, this uh, tack strip molding here, this molding, uh, the, this, I don't know what that's called, but um, it's only supposed to go to here. And you'll see a lot of cars where they bring them, they bring them to here. That's, that, this is here for a reason. This is supposed to fold when the top goes back. This folds back. And if this is brought into here, it won't do that and it'll actually rip the top underneath. So just wanted to point that out. But uh, yeah, it turned out pretty nice. So I'm happy with it. And then I put the rubbers on, that was, a, that was hard. The, the roof rails, the rail rubbers. That was difficult. They don't fit right. The rubber is harder than the original. Uh, the, the windows don't roll up into them properly. So I got to work all that out. I blame the rubbers for that, mostly. You know, you have to adjust the top frame a lot. And you have to adjust the rubbers on the top frame. But uh, I'm not happy with those rubbers. The, I, I never was happy with them from the day that they started making those. So anyway, uh, we're getting there. It's slowly but surely. Okay, that's it. I wanted to show you that. All right, talk to you later. Good luck.